today's, today's show. show. I hope you're having a good day. Hey. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Donna Farazan here with Jack and Jack. You guys have millions of followers. People love you. You met in kindergarten. Yes, yes. What would you say your first impression was of each other? Well, man, I'm trying to like put myself <laughs> in Jack G's shoes when he was four years old. Well, first time I met him, he started like Sniffing smelling you, right? me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? He was a really weird kid. Like, uh, yeah, I was weird. He right? thought he was like a caveman when he was little. Like he wanted to be one or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe an animal. Like I didn't take that as weird because I was like also really weird. You know, all five year olds are weird. Yeah. Like, but yeah, we just I don't know. I always uh, kind of just connected with Jack from the first like second I met him. Honestly, like mm -hmm. we were wearing the same shirt. Yeah, we had the same name, same shirt. So yeah, best friends, I guess. You guys impact so many people. How would you like to impact our generation? You know, the mark we want to leave on the world is it has nothing to do with you know a. a a certain a certain amount of awards or like you know it's anything really just tangible. yeah anything yeah. tangible it's just about you know inspiring people in a positive manner you know and so really at the end of the day Jack and I want to create something that like you know outlives us you know yes. as humans yes. um, which is just our message and, and what we stand for which is just positivity and just trying to inspire people and just you know if you want to do something you can do it it's the age of social media it's the age where everything's at your fingertips so mm -hmm. if you have a dream you know you can follow it and now's the time yeah Ooh. what kind of things do you think you two bring to the table that's a little bit different a lot of musical artists you know they're solo acts or you know they're like a boy band there's a bunch of them so like I think I think the whole duo thing is really cool because you know there's not many duos out there. Right. We both lead the crowd when we're when we're live, and we both totally. have like an equal share in everything that we do. And I think that that's very unique. And we just complement each other, I think, really well. You know, right. and I think that's something that you can't just be thrust into. You know, it's got to develop over 15 years of friendship, 16 years of friendship. You know, which right. Jack and I, it's just happened naturally. And so that's probably the biggest thing. Yeah. Is like a lot of these acts, even if there are duos or if there are, are trios or quintuplets or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> 15, 16, 17 years now of of being together every single day, pretty much. I mean, except for, you know, he went home for Christmas, I went on a vacation with my family. But that was the, that was the longest, longest we had I've been away from each other yeah. in like five and years. And so I, I think that, that natural chemistry, you know, that yeah. was just born with us and kind of lived through these years. Yeah, you know, because you can go back and like see videos of us in kindergarten, like yeah. messing around, and, it, and it's just like, funny. It's it looks the exact same. Like, <laughs> yeah. we have this the friend, energy, Bozzy, yeah. and he's always like, dude, like, you guys were the exact same wow. people like 17 years ago with each other at least. And so I, that's always good to hear. Dream collaborator, who would you like to dream? To collaborate with. Well, I would love to get a John Mayer solo on a song. There's so many people though. I, I mean, mean, I would God. love to get a Kendrick verse on a song, you yeah. know? Bob Marley is someone who I would love to just like, even just have a conversation with. Bono, sorry, I had to throw that out there. Collaboration can mean a, a various amount of things. And I would love to just have conversations with all these legends who have been through what hopefully we're going to go through yeah, and, and I learn think, from them. I think at the end of the day, you know, anybody who's just, you know, killing it in their respective right and is someone who's someone who inspires me, I would love to collaborate with them. Should we play a round of Slub Swipe? So you guys try. ready? Let's do it. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, use your brains because I know you guys don't have your phones. Yes. Okay. No phones. Who was the last person you texted and what was the text? Um, last person I texted was my mom. Yep, me too. And she was wishing me good luck. Last thing I like, Googled. Googled. Um, Oh, actually, ah, okay, I don't mind, you know yours? Well, go ahead. I'm a, well, I, mine was, uh, do dragons, uh, did dragons ever exist? Like, I was so That was actually a genuine conversation. No, yeah, 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 we were watching Game of Thrones, and we're like, wait, was there, like, an era where, like, these like these beasts were actually flying Because, like, like, dinosaurs were real. Yeah. This is not, like, that like, far-fetched. pretty much dragons, right? <laughs> yeah. But, like, no, it was fire-breathing, specifically. Oh, fire-breathing. I was trying to see if fire-breathing really existed. There's so much, like, erosion and stuff. Maybe the bones are, like, so That's deep we can't, we can't get to it. They're at the core of the right. earth or something. Or, like, you know, the tectonic plates. Who um, is your there. favorite person to follow on social media besides each other? Oh, Elon Musk. Elon sure. Musk, yeah. We just watched his TED Talk. It was, like, probably, like, 45 minutes in, like, his newest one. It was unbelievable. Like that dude is actually single-handedly gonna save this earth. Yes. Or Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's so oh, yeah. motivational, and he's he just he, he inspires me to just work hard every day because he's made it in every sense of the word. But he's we, still we must grinding. be related somewhere deep down the line. <laughs> yeah, right? no, you're Johnson? definitely related. Yeah, Jack. Johnson. Yeah, I mean, we might Jack not look Johnson, the same yeah. build-wise, but you know, I, actually, it's not too far. Off. Yeah, I can get there. You know <laughs> Ooh, the last viral YouTube video. Or loved. Don't get me started on puppies. I know that's like such a Animals. cliche, generic thing, but like, <laughs> that is something that like I followed this account just. I don't want to like give it a shout out, but I mean it's. You want to keep it yourself. Yeah, exactly, because like everybody's gonna find it. But they just post puppy videos like five times a day. Oh, what about that little like uh, like Asian monkey thing? You oh, uh, Pizza Toro. Pizza Toro. Yeah, 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 it's so cute. There's like it's I don't like even know. What is it even called? It's some sort of monkey. It's some sort of monkey. Like but super there's miniature. this girl who posts all of her snaps of like, it's her monkey. I guess I don't know if it's even legal to have one in America, but. It's, She's in Japan, right? It's a, yeah, I think so. It's a beautiful little like thing, and it can hop like from my hand all the way over to that purple chair over there. Like if all it right. wants it. So monkeys and puppies are really yeah. what we're all about. Love them. Yeah. Guys, Love thank em. you so much. Can't wait to see your performance. Thank the bag you. is awesome. Uh, uh, Goodbye. Today's show. Uh.
Goodbye today's show. I hope you're having a good day. Hey. <laughs> there you go.